I love how Father Max's eyes are bigger than his glasses. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Ooh, there's a hidden ninja. Right. So, you can go to Stark's Pond if you want to. Or... We could just go to the Freedom Pals base. Which, I don't know if I had to move this way to trigger it. But it would have been nice if it had triggered the other way. Because then I could have warped to it. There we go. Never fighting another ninja. I hope he dies of hepatitis. Wow, this is might 700. This is where things might get a little interesting. So, definitely worth looking into our artifacts to see if we can increase our might a little bit. Oh, and that's going to increase it by a lot. If we even have one, and we do, nice. So we can put the healing items provide more HP, but we don't use healing items. But then the other one is only 10 might, so we have to click that one. And that's 90, and it actually gives us status effect damage, which is awesome. So that's 80 with 5% status, 4%. Everything else is knocked back. That gives us 10, which is not so bad. But that gives us, is it 16? So why would we ever take it off, you know? If we could make a better version of the Divine Amplifier, we'd be okay. There's one of these that gives you extra movement. That's really powerful. There, there's that one. But uh, there's also another one you get that gives you movement and other things. And it seems like a much better choice because movement is very powerful in this game. Oh, there we go. That's health recovery. We've already equipped both of them, right? Fifty eight with twelve per cent status. We also need to make a macaroni picture because we didn't have anybody in that last fight and we need we need to make sure we at least have them when we need them. Cause it's the only way to stay alive. So That gives us 11 in might. That'll give us 6% extra status effect, but nah, there's no way I can justify that at all. I wish you could get a higher level version of the Amulet of Contemplation, but that's just going to be what we, what we deal with, guys. This is where the game might start getting difficult again. Is this where she becomes a summon? Yep. So we can now use Classy as a summon. Which, I've never actually used her. But the summons aren't that impressive. They do like 100 damage to everything, which to me is not enough. But they can help you out in a pinch, so they're worth hanging on to. Okay, Freedom Pals. Oh, it's the sheet, right? I wonder who did that. What the hell is this? What are we doing? To catch a coon. Search for the coon outside. Oh, is this where we have to follow Mitch Connor's instructions to find Carmen? I think it is.
So I think the first one is Ned and Jimbo, right? I'm gonna tell you where to go, and you're gonna go there on foot. No fast travel. You got that? The first one is easy. Go to the place where people get their coffee fix. Better hurry. Tick tock. Oh, Tweak Tweak's coffee. So that's just to the right of us. That's not too bad. Get to punch the mail bin. Oh, and get a letter to the Wunderslausch. Oops. So those kids are level 700. But we're not doing the random battles, we're avoiding them. I'm surprised there wasn't too much to do in the cinema, other than a few little things. Because I like the cinema. That means we haven't touched it, right? Oh, does that mean that you can't use them because of the... The, uh... The conceit of this? What can I interest you in today? Crime fighting... Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? <laughs> if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> what do these sell? You're gonna love our new items, young man. Hot tea with lemon and cordine? <laughs> come on back anytime, we'll be right here. Fucking cordine. <laughs> Oh my god, a ninja fight. I completely forgot about a ninja fight. I hope there's not too many white ones. I can't skip this either, fuck you. Oh, interesting, it's the ensemble of everything. That's quite cool. So, let's go, uh, my team. See if this is good enough. This could be tough, this, because... They're quite high level. Yeah, you can suck a dick with that. I hate... He's going down first just because of what he put us through the last time we met him. I'm not even remotely worried about the, uh, the other guys in this. The raisin girl is interesting because she can, she can charm us. But we'll cast Gross out on those two. That's some big knockback. But it puts him out of the range, so that's not too bad. Wow, look at that. He's going to throw a bottle and kill him, right? Oh no, he didn't. That was fortunate. Put bleed on both of them. Does a little bit of damage. Oh, I can't hit the guy I want to hit. It's unfortunate. I'm going to try and do that just to be a cock block. There we go, bleed is on. And then Scott can come down and and do some good stuff. I wonder if I can do that. Knock him into him. I can only hit one of them. Let's try that. Maybe we'll get a... Yeah, there you go. Bit of a knockback combo. And then I'm going to move her this way. And I'm going to uh, not give him a right angle on the right hand side, but give him a right angle on this side. And then try and do some damage with that. You know what, it might be safer to stand here. Just so that if he gets the use of the sword, he can't hit us both. Because Mosquito's dead, let's face it. Interesting, so a charmed Wendy. That's not that's best case scenario. Oops, for a charm. 
Again, and whenever I go to touch my goddamn head, I have to press a button. So his movement's limited. He just took a bunch of damage. He's gonna kill Mosquito. We knew that was gonna happen. Somebody was gonna do it, so that's not a big loss. And then this guy's going to do nothing. Which, I'm cool with the whole do nothing thing. Interesting, that would hit Wendy and stop her from being charmed, but also put Gross out on her, which kind of sucks. But... Let's do that instead. Sorry, Wendy. So that will hit both of them, which is exactly what I want, and it'll give me armor. And then Wendy can come down here, and she can proceed to weaken her. You're gonna hate me for this. Come on, somebody do a microaggression. I bet your blood type is oh wow. Don't even start with me, Clyde. So, oh my god, this bleeding thing is so annoying. <laughs> it is, but it helps. Okay. Thank you. 66. Ah, oh, and Wendy's dead. He's got surprisingly good range. I'm gonna beat you straight. It's the only way. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> so from now we can go and get these two. Oh, the, oh, the joy of the bleed and then Scott can do what Scott does best which is hopefully kill one of these interesting he can't kill either can't ever do that let's do that so this wasn't too bad because it's fair it's only the ones that aren't particularly fair that, and can escalate really quickly that are going to be tricky on this kind of run And I'm going to interrupt this guy's turn and slap him anyway, which is not exactly fair for him, but it's fair for us. That's 100. 150. 200. 250. On side, and then this guy's going to... There we go. So that's him dead. You just got lucky, stupid four thieves. Right. Then we can build some armor on this guy. 100 damage, which translates to 158 after all the critical bonuses. And then we get armored up, so if he hits us, he doesn't do anything, really. Exactly. The smack talk. Nice 130 damage. 138. Stack that bleed. And then smack him and he'll die, right? Not quite. Let's do this again. Gives him armor, damages him. And then I chuck a knife and he's dead, right? Oh, and he dies from the bleed. Hey, we won. So that was a nice ensemble, but it was not uh, as tricky as some of the other fights. Okay, I'm assuming each area is going to spawn uh, a, a similar looking fight. So Mitch Connors is going to ring us again, and he's going to send us to Ned and Jimbo's guns. A place I think. where death comes in all shapes and sizes? What, what could it mean? We've got to solve this riddle. Take down Connor together and prove our innocence. And hey, thanks for being the only one who believes in me. I don't believe in you, Carmen. Nobody believes in you. Hey, new kid. Except for you. I'm following what's going on. I'm trying to pinpoint Cartman's location. For now, just do what he says so he doesn't get suspicious. So, the first place I went to on my first playthrough, I went to Unplanned Parenthood because I thought it was making a joke at the uh, the idea of killing fetuses. Mm -hmm. Or blastocysts is what they're technically called. 
But that wasn't uh, where it wants you to go. It wants you to go to the gun shop because, of course, uh, weapons come in all shapes and sizes, and that's the uh, the clue. Freedom, pal. This is Super Craig. No sign of Carmen at the park. No sign of Carmen and raisins either. Mosquito, stay on point. Get out of there. <laughs> Table for one. More raisins girls there. Hopefully they don't bump into us. Good stuff. Wait, now you're scared of us? Not saying I'm scared. I'm just not fighting. Know the difference, ladies. Sometimes it's good to have fear of things. Keeps you sharp. Reminds you what you have to lose. What the stakes are. Before. So there's the hippopotamus. Maybe next time. The peppermint hippo. Have you ever tried to spell hippopotamus? It's one of those words where you, you, you can say it and you know it. But spelling it is like, oh, can I spell it? So you yeah. back right then. Time. You're not as dumb as I thought. You see the guy standing over there? Take a selfie with him. Do it now. Your mom is gonna suffer. Do it now. Crime fighting's not a game, vigilante. You're gonna get somebody killed. Yep. That's what they all say, right? You're you Mitch Connor cook. But to find me, you're gonna have to solve one more riddle. I'm a place where seats hang from chains. Part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. The playground. It means I'm hungry. Think you can quell? How did you solve my riddle? God, you're so smart. Wow, I'm so jelly. All right, you see that woman there? Go talk to her. He, he told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Get a selfie with her. Do it now. Do it now. Nah. I'm sorry. He, he said he would poop on my patio. What was I supposed to do? We just cleaned our patio. I had to do what he said. <laughs> that. <laughs> that should just about do it. Sorry, okay. I have what I need now. See you around. Mitch Connor has all the follows he could possibly need. So, if you've played this game before, which I'm hoping you have if you're watching this, uh, you'll know that. It's a little bit underwhelming, uh, this next section, because they establish Mitch Connor as the enemy here, as the antagonist, but you don't really get a good resolution against him. You get an interesting fight, but I don't think it's strong enough for the kind of end of the game fight. So it doesn't really feel like a final boss. So the game ends feeling like you haven't really faced a final moment, or, you know, Got rid of the demons that have haunted us for the game. So it definitely feels like a bit of a an abrupt end. And I don't really know why. People have theorized that maybe it's going to be in DLC. Maybe it was rushed. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. It just seems so strange. Like, the first game had such a definitive end. Back-to-back -back bosses. And it, and it built. You went up a tower. There was a sense of escalation. And then this game kind of just fluffs. I don't get it. Where's everyone else? Doesn't matter. Right, what is this fight? Defeat Mitch Connor. Okay. What if you can be frozen? We can stop Mitch Connor, guys. Just try not to hit me. Sorry, your parents got kidnapped, but Lord, I can totally relate as a kidnapped victim myself. Yeah, cocoon be telling the truth here. Uh, no. How stupid do you think we are, Eric? How stupid do you think we are, Eric? Chad Cowgirl, you're so annoying. Oh, Dude, why are you attacking me? I have a really good feeling about this, guys. He 
You can't be frozen, which means tweak is fucking useless. Great. Never mind. I suppose worst case scenario, I could always just taunt him. Because he does a lot of damage. And then he starts taking turns back and shit. As long as that happens, it doesn't matter. You're also bleeding from that. But we all saw it. Wow, the shock does incredible damage as I well. Know, guys. Maybe the code's not making this up. Exactly, Mosquito. Thank you. Fuck you, fat ass. Hmm. Let's uh, let's save his turn. Oh, maybe not. He's gonna die from the gross out. <laughs> Should have attacked. Oh well. He's gonna stop the damage from this, I think. Yeah, that's unfortunate. this does it reflect Ooh, your muscular body makes the most effective human shield Kuhn. I am known for my super strength son of a bitch Kuhn yeah, there's no proud. it doesn't seem like there's a point in attacking him oh my god he's killed her fucking bitch no Connor not cool oh and now your movement is reduced okay why Will he take it back? That's the question. If he takes it back, we might be in trouble. If it lands, we should be okay. So, now he has every status effect that makes a big difference. So this can't kill. The next move might though, and depending on all the status effects, he's going to take a massive hit now. So neither of these guys are dead. If you're wondering why I use Wonder Tweak, is I wanted to put the electricity on him, because the electricity is pretty good. So 200 from that. Come on, take the fire damage, and then take the gross out, you bitch. You're dead. So yeah, it seems like the strategy there for that particular fight is to try and get the statuses on him on the turns where he doesn't uh, bitch it up and say that they don't count and everything. If you can do that, you should be okay. But he can just boink flip everything and you'll die. So be careful. 